Justin Mango, and I am a filmmaker, photographer, and graphic designer. My African roots um, originate in Zimbabwe, actually. Um, my, my entire family is originally from there anyway, but more specifically, my dad's side of the family is from, uh, from Vengere, which is in uh, Rusape. It's a little district. What's up, Genova? One part of the seven-man group, New Sense, straight out of Dublin. You know what I mean? Representing the city, doing shows, doing whatever it takes to make it, man. You know what I mean? Chasing the dream. That's that. Well, my mom is South African, so is my dad. But my mom is from Port Elizabeth, and my dad is from Limpopo. It's me, Sophia Kalala, and I'm an interior architecture student. My father is Congolese and my mother is Portuguese and Congolese, so they really influenced my style. Honestly, I really enjoyed watching YouTube videos and I thought, I want to be a YouTuber, right? It was, it was crazy and out there and I didn't know why I wanted to do it, um, but I went for it anyway. When I think about my African roots um, in general, or when I think about anybody's African roots, all I think about is emotion and passion. Um, and that's really the basis of all the work that I do. Um, I never think that it's good to do something unless you're passionate about it. And if you're going to do it, give it 110%. I wouldn't think that coming from a minority group, I don't allow that to hinder me. In all honesty, uh, coming from a minority group in one sense can actually take work away from you. I know in this in this country we don't you don't see it on the surface, um, but just because it, you don't hear of it or see it doesn't mean that it's not happening. I feel like there should be a level playing field, and they should stop judging by appearances. Appearances can only say so much, and you really don't know what's what's within that person and what they could end up giving you. Personally, don't think that it's it's just with, you know, black creators, right? I think it's it's with all ethnicities who particularly don't come here or aren't from here or have, you know, Irish heritage. So I was really influenced by my father because he's a fine art designer and my mom does fashion as well, so it really blended in together. But in my art, um, I have a really kind of African, Portuguese kind of style in my art compared to my classmates because they're from more European countries. So we kind of have different colors and different textures. So that really influenced my style. I think that um, Ireland is a very welcoming country with art because um, when I was in class, like they really encouraged me to portray my kind of style and like from my culture, like we, used to, we like to use like pops of color, like yellows, oranges. So that really, they really inspired me and pushed me to do my style. I, think, um, I do need to work harder as a designer in Ireland because um, there's not that much um, examples that I can look to. So it shows that I have to work really hard because there's not that many um, African people in Ireland doing architecture and design. So it's really hard for me to look up to someone and like have a role model. So it is very hard and it just motivates me to work harder so I could be the next example for the other generation. My sister as well, she's really into fashion. We love to go around Dublin City and take pictures and like post on our blog and Instagram as well. And it's beautiful and I just love the African art. It's just so interesting. And diverse and I'd love to see it around Ireland more. I think the government should really help to kind of advertise the African culture and like the art and design because it's not really like talked about a lot and I just really hope that they um, express like the African cultures, different cultures like even not just African but all cultures and just to show kind of different designs because like in Tokyo they have different kind of architecture from here so I think everybody should have the chance the government should really try and make everybody's work and disposal to everybody. This gang gang and the dang chain flip the old swing with that new twang chopped and screwed brains from loose of use bang danger danger moving units are losing the essence of blessing we fire the weapons procedures but eat that they cool off a reefer yeah back eight earthquake make a dread scream clearly you saying over 30 slots well basically what I write about is like my feelings man like 
I'm like the narrator of my life, basically, or whatever. Like, life doesn't necessarily mean, like, deep things all the time. Like, I have to make a statement. You know what I mean? Some days you just don't want to hear that. You just want to go out, party, have some fun. You know what I mean? Make some good music. That's what I do. Like, that's that's what I base my life on, base my music on. Well, I feel, I feel like nuisance, yeah, for real. Like, we could be the group, like, to unite, to, to unite all of Dublin because... Each member, like, we all have different backgrounds, you know what I mean? Like, we have members from, you know what I mean? Egypt, Romania, South Africa, Nigeria, Philippines, all that, you know what I mean? It's like Rainbow Nation out here, you know what I mean? So, that's new sense. Like, we're just a bunch of people that just ended up in the same country, like, with the same goal and the same, like, type of taste in common, you know what I mean? But with that... We form together like Voltron, but we have different styles and different things. Like, so we bring a new energy to it, you know what I mean? So that's what we're doing. Well, I started with art, you know what I mean? Everything stems from art with me, like everything from clothing to music to my personal taste and every single thing. Like, it stems from art. Ramsey came up with the name New Sense, describes us perfectly, you know what I mean? Like, it's a double entendre for New Sense, New Sense of Mind. And new sense also like like this it comments on the way like people view the youth like minorities at times you know what i mean like new sense a bunch of new sense just walk around like we're not good for nothing we're just doing shit like that that's how people look at you as an artist i'm seeing a lot of a uh, new um african um and asian people doing fashion so it's really creative and i just love it i just really motivate them to just to be themselves and to express themselves and that there is a name in Ireland and like more creatives and like are getting noticed so I just really hope that people keep being creative and just being themselves. It's just more unity man. That's what like that's the main thing. Just unity. Yeah, yeah.